welcome back to my little kitchen um, I am going to show y'all a simple little recipe today for um, some soup that we have enjoyed um, you can do this low carb or you cannot but um, I'm going to show you the basic recipe and this is for the Olive Garden uh, Zupa Toscana soup um, most of the keto recipes that I have ever had um, uses cauliflower, but mine has a twist. I'm gonna be using some radishes for the potatoes, and I know uh, you're probably gasping, <gasps> radishes, oh my goodness. And I'll be the first to say I don't like radishes at all, but when you cook them, it takes on a whole new flavor. Um, I, radishes is not something I put in my salad. Um, I, when I was younger, I'd be like, oh, that's spicy, that's nasty. But um, when it's cooked, it does, it takes on a whole new flavor. So I'm gonna just go ahead and start cutting my, um, I'm gonna quarter these uh, radishes. And the smaller you cook them really, the faster they will, uh, they'll uh, cook, they'll get tender. So um, you don't want to leave them whole. And um, I'm just going to chop these up. Now the rest of the ingredients is your basic ingredients, things that you uh, know that goes in this soup. Uh, one other thing that I'm going to do instead of kale, I'm going to be using some spinach. But uh, other than that, it's the, the good old bacon for that flavor, some sausage, I've got Italian sausage, um, garlic, and um, some chopped onion. Now I'm not gonna do as much chopped onion because we done talked about all them carbs and onions. So uh, just want the flavor, but not necessarily all those carbs. All right, I am gonna just continue cutting these, getting these ready. And um, I've already got my, my bacon fried up. I've already got it nice and crispy, uh, ready to put back in there. I left just a little bit of that bacon grease in here and um, I'm going to be a little backwards and I'm going to go ahead and cook my, cook my garlic and my onion and I'm going to go ahead and start cooking these radishes in it just a little bit, let them take on that flavor and um, before I do my sausage. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, y'all, I've got just a little bit of bacon grease in here. I've chopped my onion on my good old chopper here. I'm not going to use all of this, but I went ahead and chopped because I can use the rest of that onion in another recipe. So while we got it out chopping, that's what we're going to do. All right, got my onion in there. And I'm going to put some garlic, some fresh garlic. And the garlic really does make a world of difference uh, in your recipes. All right, get this little booger out. A lot of people love this soup. It's their choice when they go to Olive Garden. I know my sister Lynn, she loves it, bless her heart. Now I love it with the breadsticks and all that, but we're not gonna focus on that today because we can't have the breadsticks. Although I do have a recipe of keto breadsticks I'll have to share. Oh, it smells good. It's so fragrant. I'm gonna put another one in there. Get that goodness out. Now, like I said before, if you are not doing the low carb or keto diet, you would certainly use them potatoes in place of um, the radishes. And if uh, you don't quite believe me with the radishes, uh, you can use cauliflower as well for your potato. But um, I'm telling you, it's at first when I, when I have read about radishes because people used it in other potato dishes, I was like, I ain't too sure about them radishes. I have never liked them, but honestly, uh, they are pretty good. It's not bad at all. We'll just get them all happy in here. And I'm just going to get them uh, just tender, just a little tender. And I just got one of those small bags. I don't even know how much is in there. I don't think I'm going to use them all, though. I think this is a plenty. You just uh, use how much you think you should use. I'm going to put these to the side. 
this soup can just be made all kind of different ways. It does smell good, don't it? Oh, that fresh garlic really makes a difference. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little salt and um, pepper in here. Season that just a little bit. And some accent, of course. And some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna do about, a, probably about a, a teaspoon or so of that. Lord, this thing don't ever come out fast enough for me, especially the new ones. I ain't trying to be hanging around all day waiting on that to come out. And let's do some black pepper. Getting it all seasoned up. All right. Here we go. I'm just going to uh, soften these up just a little bit before I put my... Um, my Italian sausage in there. You can do this the other way. You can cook your sausage first, then add that in there. You just do whatever you want. Um, you can uh, also wait and just put your radishes in after you do your broth. But I want this to take on some of this bacon flavor because it really does take on the flavor that you're cooking it with. Look at that. It almost looks like red potatoes, don't it? Almost. And I've used radishes in several of the um, keto dishes and, and me and Russ was, was a fan. All right, I'm just gonna let these soften up just a little bit. All right, this is kind of the consistency, y'all, that I want. They have just gotten um, just a little tender. Now, they're, uh, they are not done. They're messing everything up. All right, I'm gonna dump them in my big old stock pot here. Get that yummy there. Now I'm gonna cook my Italian sausage in here before I start getting everything mixed up. Let's see. And I've just got just regular uh, ground mild Italian sausage. And you can get whatever you like. Yeah. Here we go. I'm just going to break this up. I don't want no real big chunks. This is actually uh, would be really good into little meatballs too in this soup. This sausage, make little meatballs and drop them in there. That would be scrump diddly umptious, I think. But this is what we're doing today. That's for another day. And All right, I'm just gonna get this browned up and uh, then I get it all combined and show you how easy it is. All right, y'all, this, this meat has just browned right up. I did put just a few more onions in it because I said, why not? That's gonna be some good flavor. And um, I just had a little bit of that bacon grease in there just to, just to make it yummy. And if you're on keto diet, you know you're watching them fats. You need a, a little more fats than normal. Um, now, if you're not watching fats and you're watching salt, um, be careful when you salt and stuff because this does have a little, uh, this does have sodium in it. Um, I did not have my homemade chicken broth, so Aldi it is this time. Um, my chicken broth that I have has some chicken in it and it's delicious. But anyway, this is browned up nice. I'm just gonna slide old fella over here and mix this all together. Now I've got my radishes in there, my onions, my garlic, all the good things. Trying to get all this goodness. Let me pull it this way, cause that way ain't working. Yes, yes. All right. Y'all, I'm trying my best 
to not cook with this light on because apparently in the videos I look like an angel. I'm just glowing. So um, we're trying to avoid that glare. But I'm having a hard time looking down in here. I'm used to that light glowing on it. All right, so I've got those ingredients. Now I'm going to mix, um, like I said, this is just chicken broth. You can make your own with your bouillon, however you want to do it. And I didn't put a lot of salt in the um, radish and onion mixture when I was cooking that either because I know this is going to have some sodium. But um, if you're watching sodium and you're fat, obviously you would do things just a little different. Um, but hallelujah, y'all can have taters. So there's there you go. We can't have any potatoes. And Lord knows I do love me a potato just about any way I can get it. Um, this calls for 64 ounces of um, chicken broth. So just gonna pour that in there. Now I'm gonna let this simmer enough for my uh, radishes to get real tender. Now if I was using kale, and um, you can certainly do that. I did not have kale, I had spinach. Um, but if you're using kale, um, you want to go ahead and put that in there because it it cooks um, a little, it takes more time for the kale to cook than the spinach that I have. You know, spinach, Lord, it don't take but a few minutes. It's all withered up and ready to go. So um, I'm also going to wait um, until this gets tender to put my cream in there. And um, then we'll just top it with that crumbled bacon, y'all. It is going to be delicious. So just going to let this simmer. This is what it looks like in all its glory. Just going to let it simmer. And um, you taste it and you see uh, it may need more Italian seasoning or uh, whatever. Salt, pepper. I'm definitely going to put some more pepper in here. And I'm going to add some uh, garlic powder. We put that fresh garlic in there, but y'all know the garlic powder gives it a different um, flavor as well. But um, I'm just going to let it simmer. And um, when those radishes are soft, then um, I'll add the other things. All right, y'all, it has been about, um, been about seven or eight minutes. And these little radishes, y'all, they are tender. They um, really do resemble potatoes, I'm telling you. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my uh, fresh spinach in here and um, let that start cooking down just a little bit. And I'm gonna add my cream. Now I've got just two handfuls of this. Um, I believe um, you can just put however much spinach you want in it, but it's probably about two cups of spinach. And um, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour a cup of heavy whipping cream in here as well. It's gonna give it that creamy texture. And that's what we want. All righty. Get all this goodness out of here. If y'all bought heavy whipping cream lately, you know. <laughs> Stuff's expensive. All right. Get this up out of the way. Look at that. Here we go. Just what we want it to look like. Now that spinach does not take long. I should just get this spoon completely out. The spinach does not take long. So um, this soup is almost ready. And uh, I'm gonna add just a little bit of red pepper flakes. That's gonna give it some flavor. You don't wanna uh, do yourself any harm if you don't like it, just a little bit. Just a, a dab will do ya, a dab will do ya. Me anyway. But it's just gonna add some good flavor to it. And um, I've got my bacon here, y'all, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there and just, just let that get all happy together. And this soup is coming together so good. And you're just gonna look at it um, and you know what consistency you like it, but um, pretty much when this spinach is done, because I did let those radishes go, um, and they are very soft. Um, so all we got to do is let this spinach soften up just a little bit, and we'll be ready to eat. And um, it is a soup kind of day. It is chilly outside, so this is going to be really good. 
All right, y'all, it is ready to go. It didn't take um, but about 15 minutes from start to finish. And um, we have got some good, hearty, creamy uh, soup and it I've tasted it, it is good. But we gonna get rustling here because um, our tastes are a little off. Sometimes um, he's like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, oh, that's just delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, We've got a, a, it's a. Sometimes we have. Sometimes it's yes. Sometimes, but I'm hoping I, we're gonna be on the same page with this. I was surprised that uh, I tasted a radish y'all during the process. She had me sample. I did. I was like, don't this taste like potato? It, it really does. It really tastes it like does. a uh, stewed potato. It does. Because when it gets tender, it really it has does. the same texture. Very good. It's good. So well, I'm ready for y'all. Look at I've been this. Washing it. Mm -hmm. The process. Now we've had it before, there. but it's been a little minute. Like it has I said, been a it's while been since a little minute. It, it has. Y'all, um, that is piping. Ooh. It is hot. You might want to just blow that. Yeah. Give it a little. Well, no, or not. Thumbs up. It's a thumbs up. It's awesome. It's good, ain't it? Mm -hmm. It's good. It tastes like Olive Gardens. The. Uh, the Italian sausage mm -hmm. and spinach and red pepper and cream. It's, it that it's, fresh garlic, man, everything good. it that's just like comes together. That's like a bowl full of flavor. Just a bowl of goodness. For real. It is a bowl of goodness. On a winter day when it's oh, cold yes. out, what? This is a belly warming, yeah. delicious. I told him it's a little chilly day. This is going to yeah, be good. It it's going to be really good. So um, we are going to enjoy this. Oh, yeah. We're going to enjoy this one, y'all. It's good. And um, so easy to put together. It really is. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing keto, honey, throw them taters in there. And uh, you can change up the kale if you want but spinach i think the spinach is really good yeah um change it up however you want to do it drain some of that fat off or whatever it would be great with potatoes i mean it's good with the radishes yes it would be great with potatoes well that's um, how they make it out that's normally how it's made that's right <laughs> with some taters hey, hey we we can do some substituting now normally yeah. listen y'all when we at olive garden we normally are not eating the soup no <laughs> it's not our first choice on the we menu, eating but that however pasta. it's very good it, it really, is it is I, good I, you know their their soups are very Good. They you are, know. and in breadsticks. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Don't be saying Jesus. that. I know. I, I can make some. See how she does. I can make see some. How she does. I can make some. That's what I. That's what I do. But anyway, y'all, it is delicious. Yes. I hope you try this, and if you do, please let me know. Yeah, give um, me comments, y'all. Yes. Uh, also, in the comments, uh, I've been trying to talk to to Rhonda about doing uh, a lives. So we, I, I think I brought that up one other time. Anyway, we may give that a try here in a couple of weeks or a couple, you know, a week or so, and see how that goes. Um, just kind of a, if you have questions, meet, greet, find out whatever you want to know, ask it. Answer. I'm an open book, y'all. Yeah, if you have I, cooking questions you know or something, something I tell you want to see you. or whatever, curiosity. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I thought about doing, you know, us sitting down for maybe an hour or something like that if there was enough participation and uh, seeing how that goes. He's like a broken record. And they do live. And they do live. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and I'm like, ah. I want to keep things. Yeah, change it up just a styles. little bit. Yeah. Change it yeah. up. If y'all have any keto recipes you want me to try. I'm yeah, drop them in the comments. Completely game. I love know. getting yep. recipes. Um, yep. I've got some recipes uh, this week. It's not keto, but um, I'm going to give it a try. But Because uh, we're not always going to be doing the keto no, recipes. No. Um, but anyway, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching, yes. tuning in, and watching. Every you, one of them, we appreciate it. If you got this far, hallelujah. Yeah. So, <laughs> but anyway, y'all, till next time. Peace.